If you purchased an assembled bolt carrier group separately from the barrel, then you should check the headspace. If you purchased a pre-assembled upper with the barrel and bolt carrier group installed, then the headspace should have been checked by the manufacturer. If your bolt carrier group is already assembled, you'll need to remove the bolt from the carrier to remove the ejector. To remove the ejector, you'll need a number one roll pin punch, a four ounce ball peen hammer, and an ejector removal tool. If you don't have the ejector removal tool, then you'll need a 16th inch punch to depress it. You should already have a gun mat on the bench to help you keep small parts from rolling around. First, pull the firing pin retaining pin out of the carrier and remove the firing pin. Push the bolt to the rear of the carrier and rotate the cam so that the long flat surface runs parallel with the carrier. Remove the cam pin and pull the bolt out of the carrier. Place the bolt into the ejector removal tool and screw in the ram to compress the ejector. With the number one roll pin punch, drive out the ejector roll pin. Unscrew the ram and remove the ejector and spring. Insert the bolt back into the carrier with the extractor to the right. Push the bolt all the way to the rear of the carrier and rotate it so the cam pin hole on the bolt aligns with the back of the cam pin way in the carrier. Insert the cam pin with its top length parallel to the carrier, then rotate the cam pin one quarter turn. Insert the firing pin through the back of the carrier, through the cam pin and the bolt. The firing pin retains the cam pin. Install the firing pin retainer pin from the left hand side of the carrier so it sits flush with the side of the carrier. You are now ready to start the process of checking the headspace. At the end of the checking the headspace segment, we will demonstrate how to reinstall the ejector.